good y'all recommended boy jones here back with another reaction and today we got stupid anime tropes uh man i really like reacting because my recommended section kind of looking fire and again this was another thing that was just recommended to me so i was like this looks dope i did stupid anime tropes i just want to see what dude does literally never seen this man tommy nfg in my life uh but apparently he he's back he's back uh just like me and the breton boy song okay so um uh yeah i just decided you know let me go ahead and see what this is we react to anime shit over here and trying to you know switch it up and stuff so uh hey man i'm running in blind on this one uh tommy let's see what you got sir talk about anime on this channel a lot what i've made like one yeah. video on it but i think now is as good as a time i'll ever be able to do one the fall anime okay. lineup for 2022 has me creaming in my chair it's we got chainsaw man's crack. debut spikes crack. family part two mob crack. psycho season three my hero crack. season six the bleach crack. a thousand year blood war crack. oh yeah i'm ready to sit so back much crap ass. but with all these animes coming out i kind of thought back to all the tropes they have in anime shit, that are just absolutely yo. stupid as shit or ridiculous things that a lot of animes include because it's just how it's been for some time now and yeah. looking back at some of these tropes i kind of realized how much i fucking hate them. So I kind of want to run through some that of these anime tropes that just pissed me off in this video. Some of them may piss me off more than others, but regardless, I'm just going to run You're through them. Go and first, it. I want to start out with the one I hate the most. Like if Okay, cool. I agree. Anime. So whenever I was, uh, whenever I was talking to like my wife, whenever she first started like watching the anime and stuff, there's certain tropes that like popped up in animes. And I was like, no, it just kind of shows up. Uh, and for some reason, like that conversation sparked in me that i noticed tropes seem like they're slowly falling away which i'm not mad at and stuff but i mean like like a lot of top anime seem like they kind of go away from them and i mean i think it's proving to be a working strategy at this point if you're someone that's into this, unsubscribe from my channel right now. You should be locked up in an Alcatraz prison, have the key thrown away, and stay there the rest of your life. And I'm talking about none other than the lollies. Ha! Some of you watching this, let's go, like, Tommy. I watch anime. <laughs> I don't even know what a lolly means. And if that's the case, good job. I pat you on the head for being an upstanding citizen. But let me just ruin your day real quick by giving you the definition of what a lolly is. A lolly is a female in anime that has a childlike appearance when they are actually not underage. Yes. The key words in this definition are childlike. Here's yes. an example from an anime that's known for having the best animation in the world. Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, How old do you think this girl right here is? Okay, see, so this is hilarious. The first anime, see, so I didn't watch Seven Dead. I met my wife around whenever I was first watching Seven Deadly, and I said, "Look, I'm gonna watch this. I don't know what it is, but you're welcome." Whenever she was still like my girl, like whenever we were dating, I said, "You're welcome to watch it with me. I don't know how it's gonna be." Uh, and she and she still thought like the first season of Seven Deadly was cool and stuff because it was. Um, uh, but had to explain a lot of tropes going through seven deadly sins. Uh, and then like, you know, we slipped into other things like, you know, like death node, full metal alchemist, yada, 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 because I tried to like go more for her interest. But I feel like this was a good show to get like, hey, tropes, get them out of the way. Most of you would probably guess without knowing her at first, mm, seven or eight, eight or nine, maybe 10 or 11, but that's really pushing it. That girl right there is 1,000 years old. Yes, yes sir. you did not mishear me. She is 1,000 years old. Yes, Tell me sir. in what type of world where a girl looks like this and is 1,000 years old. That is a child. She looks like a first day of second grade is tomorrow morning. Does no one in their team sit them down and tell them, hmm, okay, this might be a little weird. She clearly has the body of an eight year old, even though she's 1,000 years old. So maybe we should think of changing it to something more mature. Sure. Get the fuck off the team. You know how we like them. You aye, know how we like aye. them looking. We like them looking young. The worst part too in Seven Deadly Sins is when she ends up with Bond in the show. Because Bond is someone yeah. who is 34 years old. Bond, six yeah, foot say, 11. Bond it straight up looks yeah. like a full grown man who could play in the NBA full time. So how does this man end up with a girl who looks like she just learned her multiplication tables? And when I say the photos of them together are scary, they are. Like this. Like this. Bro, yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And probably the worst one out of all of them. Like this. Is ah! she? No. Oh yeah, that's dead. I will say... In this, she particularly doesn't look that young. I don't know, but maybe it's because we're just so used to her looking young, young that it still does. I don't know. Her face seems kind of mature inside this this one right now, but yeah, yeah, this trope, dog, this trope. I don't know, man. We ain't seen nobody a thousand years old. Maybe if someone does live uh, to be a thousand, like like that's they shit. They just look young, you know, you know. 
Like, we don't know. <laughs> Definitely pregnancy. <laughs> wee woo, wee woo. He is a sex offender. I repeat, that nigga is a sex offender. Lock that motherfucker up and throw the key away because he is a sex offender. Wee there is no wee denying wee the wee fact that he is a sex offender. You're not slick, Bond. The worst part about this whole scenario is that technically she's the offender in this scenario. Because Elaine in the show herself is 1,000 years old. And he's 34 years old. At least make it make so. some type yeah, of sense. I, I but so. oh, it's not just in 786. That was one single example. Yeah, there are no, hundreds of no, animes like this where they use time. the same trope. And before the weirdo Discord mods come in my comment session talking about Tommy, this is drawing, bro. Last year with the age of 18. Why are you so worried? Uh, bro, y'all know damn well that they're just making them these ages so they can pass as not sexualizing <laughs> kids, right? Of course, the creators wouldn't label them as eight years old and put them in the most sexual positions ever. That's a one way ticket to prison. Yes, I swear, sir. not even R. Kelly was that stupid. But if you're really trying to defend this with all your heart, R. you R. already know smart. how you look like. You're probably a Reddit person, Discord smart. mod. Maybe you play Genshin Impact. Uh, no, you do not scratch that. You definitely play Genshin Impact. Ooh. Got Dorito crumbs all over your shirt, body pillows oh. stacked up in the back of your room and you either look like this like this or like this i've never seen someone defend the point of lollies in anime without looking like one of those things it's just really fucking weird that so many mangas to this day still do this and so many people will go out and either buy the mangas or just watch the animes do you not feel shame do you not feel <laughs> disgusted anyways the next trouble i want to talk about i'm gonna Let's call see. it a little something like explaining the ability at the stupidest time ever now in nearly every oh. anime <laughs> that has some type of power system and fights in it there's always a multitude of different yeah. characters with skills only they can use it's bound that they'll end up fighting each other yeah. eventually but what i I don't like about these fights is when in the middle of the fight between two people, one of them just stops <laughs> and starts to explain their ability and everything they can do to that opponent. Well, Instead of giving duh. them a Khan Academy lesson on their ability and what they can do. I like, I get that you need to explain the power and the ability. To I want to let you know that I can fuck you up. That's it. That's it. I want to let you know in all the way. Shoot, man, I be doing that whenever I fight people. Like, look, man, I'm going to choke slam you. And whenever I do that, I'm going I'm, I'm to go down and start hitting you with these one two combos no biscuit my guy like 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 it's over for you it's a wrap man to the audience so they huh? understand how it works but that is not the best way to do it sometimes they'll straight up tell the opponent everything they're about to do to them and what they're going to do to them and See? the opponent See? will still lose like bro how dumb are you can you imagine yeah. if the same scenario happened strong, in real life nigga. like imagine two countries are at a war and one of the countries just explains like <laughs> where they're going to bomb and attack the enemy at this certain type of place and the enemy still loses that's I'm not gonna lie to you that'd be a fair. different level of disrespect. Anyways, the next trouble I want to move on to is from romance animes. Yes, in sir. general, I just really yeah. fucking hate romance animes. I genuinely can't stand them. And that's because 99% of the time, it's always the same thing. Some shy kid who has no yeah. friends sits yeah. in the corner of the classroom away yeah. from everyone, sits at the lunch table alone every day, then ends up meeting the super hot girl who then falls for him. Like, bro, I, I did the same I thing in school and I didn't animes, get any bitches. What's the difference between me and him? And to no this maidens. day, there are a bunch of animes that still use the same thing. And I already lists. know what people Behavior. are going to say. But, 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 Tommy, that's not every romance anime. You're you just gotta find another one to watch. Well, obviously, it's not actually every romance anime, but it's always the ones that are trending and the most popular all of the it's time. Enough. Then there's also the thing in these animes where the characters themselves end up in the most crazy sexual positions <sighs> ever in the show. I'm talking 69er reverse fangirl. Hey, man, I, hey, 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 I just wanna say, uh, I, I appreciate you doing the demonetation stuff for me, so I don't have to. That's all I'm saying. Bro, can or anything you can really think of. And then they'll just talk like friends the next episode like Yo. nothing happened. These romance main what characters that? in these animes are better than me is all I'm saying. You wouldn't want a nigga like me in the positions they were at. Then to top it all off, the people who make romance animes extend the stories extra long for no reason. How long does it really yeah. take to ask a girl out on a date? If you ask a person who's making a romance anime, he'll tell you about three to five years of the story. One example of a romance <laughs> anime like this is something called Rent a Girlfriend. So many people have complained time, about bro. how much the creator has time. extended the story Itself. The whole point of Rent a Girlfriend is that this complete loser who's so down bad downloads an app to find girlfriends. He has this girl that he really likes, yeah. and the girl also likes him back, but they never get with each other as usual in every romance anime. And to top it all <laughs> off in this, he has like five other options to date, and he never gets a single one of them. Like, how do you fumble this badly, no, my nigga? You have five fucking options, bro. Just pick one and move on. And even one of my friends who started reading <laughs> this told me he thought it was about to end five times when it actually didn't. Like, they'll bait the hell out of them about to get together, and then something comes up that completely stops like, them nope. from not getting together randomly. The manga itself right now now is on its 254th chapter, which is pretty much the equivalent of One Piece for romance anime. And I think we all know why crazy. it's going so long. These creators like to milk the hell yeah. out of it get that for money. every single penny they can get, get that money. It if we're being honest, damn near half of these romance stories could have ended five times faster than get they do. But hey, I can't really blame the creators for chasing a bag. I would yeah. do the same thing, to be honest. You're telling me all I gotta do is make it seem like they're about to get together every once in a while, and right before they do, add something like, gotcha. stupid to stop them and extend the story? That's free money at that point.
And the thing is, people are really hooked on these stories, even though they know it's never going to end. I wouldn't be surprised if Rent a Girlfriend is still going when I'm like 60 years old. Anyways, moving on to the next trope, it's something I think a lot of my audience can relate to. The fatherless main character. It feels like in every anime. Everybody. Okay, hold on. I'm just looking at this. No father, no father, no father, no father. I'm just looking for main characters. Light had, Light had his dad. Uh, shoot, Edward. I mean, I mean, I guess you know, you know, the Ulrich brothers had had like theirs. Uh, no father for like Ren. No, like, bruh, yeah, a lot of fatherless beha behavior here. Uh, going through this uh little collage of people. I just love how. <laughs> girl from clay Morrison. especially in the older shonen <laughs> ones the main character is either born without a father figure in their life or their father's just <laughs> not in their life in general which i never really yeah. understood to be honest like what's up with every anime dad and just not being in their son's life it's not like the beings. animes are based off detroit or chicago then i would understand You're the characters crazy, having no father but it's just the case in nearly every random anime for some reason and at the rare circumstances that the dad is actually in the character's life for once they turn out to be the most deadbeat people in the fucking world yeah, <laughs> yeah i'm looking at you i knew it yeah i'm looking at I you Theo's it. dad i don't even I remember your name nigga. i knew Anyways, it we got i like to call is the useless female character i'm talking about that typical shonen anime shit when they set up the female bad writing okay just 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 manga writers just bad writing they just don't know how to do i think it's just one of the things where it's like, like this male dominated field uh just bad like like i ain't gonna lie man i'm looking at you men man you just, you just don't know how how women actually work so bad writing bad just bad you just don't know how to write them female character to be extra strong, oh, train every single day to master their powers, learn every <laughs> single ability in the book, psychoanalyze every enemy to ensure that their win is guaranteed, and at yeah. that point I'm like, okay, I'm ready to see this girl whoop somebody's ass with all these abilities she's mastered. And then yes, the creators sir. just go like, hmm. Nope. Alright, we set her up to be this powerful. She has all these abilities. <laughs> you know what? Give that bitch a healing power real quick and make sure she forgets everything she learned. Wait, yep. wait, wait. Uh, uh, huh? Like, bro, what happened? <laughs> then to top soccer. it all off, when they do actually get in a fight, they end up losing the fight they get and the main character just swoops in to save the day like he's Prince Charming. And yep. I think we all know which yep. character fits in this exact category yep. without me really having yep. to say it. Sakura. Every yep. time Sakura yelled for Naruto, I just wanted to punch my monitor. Because the thing is, we know Sakura is strong. <laughs> this is the same girl who She's trained with so Tsunade and got her ass whooped so she could become stronger. But of course, they had to give Naruto his character development. So anytime she didn't have the upper hand in a fight, she just yelled for him. There were rare times where she didn't yeah. actually use her strength in the show. I cannot deny that. But I yes. can count those amount of times on my fingertips. See, look, it's one of those things where... See, a pro see, I always tell people the problem with Sakura isn't that she's that because people are like she's useless, she's useless. Shut the fuck up. No, she's not. She's incredibly strong. She's 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 uh like like an amazing like ninja and stuff inside that show. But what happened? Like I feel like all of the problems with Sakura would have been solved if you just don't put her on the box art. You put her on the box art like she about to be this thing and she loses too much like okay cool like a shelfing rock lee sucks but like that nigga wasn't supposed to be the nigga anyway like that's just that's just that is just how it was but like rock lee was always like cooler than she was she's on the fucking box art give her some cool shit man damn now look also my nigga was staring at me something crazy there's good news on this it has gotten better in newer animes and stories yes, like i know like I Jujutsu Kaisen has fire ass is, female it's, characters it's that are strong yeah. shit but man and right. all of those old shonen animes and all mm -hmm. the animes in general it was always like this you can look yep. back at every single old shonen anime and i guarantee it's like that anyways the next trouble we got is when they tease someone's death in the anime and it just doesn't happen this happens so much at this point i really don't get surprised it's when in yeah. the story they pretty much save someone on the brink of death because of plot like they'll be damn near a lifeless <laughs> corpse every single one of their vital organs is destroyed they have no Dog, heart rate or no pulse and all of a sudden they get saved by some miraculous way which makes no sense the yeah. main culprit of this i yeah. would say is the most popular series in the world in general one piece now y'all know i love one piece it's still one of my favorite anime and hey, mangas niggas still be dying, time, but though. holy shit the amount of times one piece does this in the story is kind of insane an example of this i can remember off the top of my head is a character named Pell. Also, I want to add this, but spoiler warning for One Piece Alabaster. All right, we good. No spoilers for One Piece here. 
times in the story. The next trouble we got in anime is that are normally is fan service. Now, fan service has always been a thing okay. in anime since okay. the end of time. If you don't know what fan service is, it's pretty much shots in anime to make niggas that are horny happy. But there's some animes yeah. where it's to the point that it just ruins it goes, the plot. Like, they could be goes, in a dead ass serious conversation of how they're going to deal with something, maybe defeat the next major threat or villain in the universe, and some yeah. girl just comes out of nowhere with her milkers flying everywhere. You know what's bad when it gets to the point where it annoys the fan service that irritates me is specifically fire force with what's her face uh like i think like her like in the middle of a fight that one irritates the fuck out of me i hate that one like dog okay we're doing some conversation shit some stuff happens okay cool but dog like let her be serious like for real the horny mofos like me it gets me mad that's a hard audience to piss off and don't get it wrong <laughs> i like my occasional fan service in an anime but i oh, also sir. actually like the plot itself like the point i'm actually watching the show for yeah, the an show example of an anime doing this all it. the time and i mean all of the time is fire force i can't really watch this shit anymore and take it serious when you have a character who's <laughs> maybe supposed to be fighting with fire but just beats people up by stripping nude you know people aren't reading it for the plot at that point might as yeah. well just make the whole story that thing to rebrand it as a hentai that'll make you more money in the long run now these next <laughs> Next couple of tropes I'm just gonna run through real quick. And this next trope, I'm just gonna call it the clothing trope. AKA when the characters wear the same clothes for the entire show. It's uh, rare in some animes that they even have a single outfit change for some people. Let's oh see yeah. some examples real quick. This is Naruto in episode one, and this is Naruto in episode 222. This is Tondro in episode one, and this is Tondro in episode 26. This is Asta in episode one, and this is Asta in episode 153. I know Love. damn well them clothes are musty as hell. <laughs> like Naruto, if you don't take off that goddamn sweatsuit, no wonder any kids didn't want to hang out. Look, I get it. I wish draw like again. It's all about drawing and stuff. See, look, see, look, see, look. To to be honest, them wearing the same thing doesn't bother me because again, I get not wanting to like redraw like clothes and stuff. What irritates me mostly is specifically just one is Dragon Ball and how we don't get new forms for Goku because the thing is drawing his hair the exact same way every single time uh helps out the manga artist because like that's why we're just gonna keep getting palette swaps and we're not gonna actually get them looking cooler because he doesn't want to draw them looking cooler so like i hate that like like there's a power thing like there's something happening like dog but like you know as, as far as clothes go uh, i'm i'm 50 50. i i, I understand why and, you know you know so we can you know get shit out and stuff man but you know it, it actually would be cool maybe in the future if you know we figure out some sort of tech where it's like switching clothes would be easier we can do it out with him he probably smelled like ass i wouldn't either the next trouble we got is the power of friendship every single time in a shonen anime where someone is about to lose a fight they instantly have a flashback of all of their look, friends look. gain 10 times more strength than normal the villain somehow loosens up and they manage to beat that person look. now without saying names i think we know which anime Fairy tale's the best. No, fairy tale's the best one because the power of friendship is an actual thing. At least like they gave like a plausible like thing for fairy tale. For everybody else, it's it's technically just bullshit. But for fairy tale, they actually gave it somewhat of like a like 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 a power. So I don't agree with fairy tale being the issue here inside of this one. See, look, I said that we were like this. No, no. You cut off, you cut off, sir. Nah, um, uh, but yeah, I mean, hey, like, I get the power of friendship. It's kind of like, eh, and I get that we do it a lot inside of anime, so it feels kind of eh. Or like we have those characters who are like all heart and they can do stuff. But man, I've watched and I've been someone who have outhearted people like I've outhearted people and I've watched someone outheart uh people and like also like have the motivation of friends and family to get through a situation like like bro bro like even I can't even remember what homie's name was he was in the UFC and like outclassed out, like dude got picked uh for the old for like not the ultimate fighter but like like uh last and he was the most man fighter out of all 20 of them dudes and he ended up uh he came in second but he out hard like he just would not go down it was the weirdest thing to watch someone get their ass kicked and then just get a good mm, like nice sock person went down he'd win that's how every single fight of his went ass beat ass beat ass beat knockout ass beat ass beat ass beat knockout and the weirdest shit to watch in reality.
But I mean, I get with with anime and stuff, you know, you're like, oh, it's a cop out. It just be happening with some people, dog. I'm just saying. Man. Takes the cake on this one. The next trope we got is when the female character just punches the main male character for no reason. I honestly don't know why this pisses me off. Maybe it just gets me mad because usually the main character can beat the living pope out of them if I they mean, want. I or say maybe jokes just to maybe it awakens they, Chris Brown in me. Either way, and, I don't know, but it's just gotta be a double a standard. And the last trope I'm gonna end it on is the unused side character. It's when there's a side character huh. that has hey, so Rock much Lee. potential. Sometimes it's damn yeah, better than go. what the main character's power is. Like go. I really be watching them use their abilities and I'm like, damn. Yeah, there's no way this niggas competing with this but then they end up just yep. getting thrown to the side and are never used again i'm just yep. here like they really could have solved the problem way easier if they used this person's ability but nope yep. they gotta give the main character his time to shine yep. so yeah that's the conclusion of tropes i just find really annoying in anime there are probably way more but this yep. is just a little couple i could think off the top of my head maybe i can make a part two in the future but i don't know hey. anyways you already know what to do follow my instagram twitter and tiktok if you're not already as always yes, i love you guys consensually and until next time i'm out all right He's out, my guy. Yeah, no, this was a pretty dope video. I, I like this. Also, it seems like, I'm not gonna lie, I shelved this video uh, until today, and like, it looks like it's, it's like, it like, it like, it, 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 it like exploded from whenever, because like, I refreshed the page, and, and, and your views just went, boom. so, looks like it's doing pretty well right now, so, hey, maybe a part two is uh, needed, Mr. Tommy, sir. But, uh, yeah, anyway, this is what was recommended to me. You know, I decided to, uh, to, you know, check it out. I was not disappointed. I sat here for, what, like 20 minutes, man? Hey, hopefully you were here for 20 minutes with me, you know what I mean? But, hey, anyway, uh, hope that y'all enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to do something else today. I'm going to react to other stuff. Yeah.